thank you for this opportunity to present our project. I'm Mikhail Sakun from Dragon Capital, which is the biggest uh, private investment company in Ukraine. And today we'll be discussing the M10 Industrial Park project, which our company um, is developing in an equity partnership with the uh, European Bank of Reconstruction and Development. And so we are grateful for, to EBRD for the decision to invest in this project, to be honest, especially during these uh, war times. Uh, we believe that this project will contribute significantly to the uh, local economy. So the project uh, covers an area about uh, 24 hectares with six industrial sites to accommodate production and logistics facilities. All, um, all uh, necessary utilities such as electricity grids and water are already in place. Security features such as checkpoints, uh, fencing and CCTV will be installed and operated by our facility management company. In terms of uh, leasing options, uh, we can offer a leasing of uh, premises that we are currently uh, constructing in the first phase. Alternatively, uh, a build to suit service uh, could be provided to meet the uh, specification of our potential clients. Um, the M10 has a unique location on the uh, M10 highway. Uh, this is where its name comes from, obviously. Uh, just of uh, the Lviv road and uh, only 60 kilometers from the Polish border, making it a uh, perfect location for um, businesses that require access to key borders crossing points between the European Union and Ukraine. Uh, the M10 industrial park is expected to employ around uh, 3,000 people, and it uh, has perfect access to a large workforce um, with, approx with approximately uh, 200,000 200, working age people uh, residing uh, within the 30 minutes drive range from the industrial park. And the land plot has a rectangular shape, which makes it convenient for developing. It uh, benefits from easy access from the M10 highway um, and uh, has a visible facade facing the highway. Although we anticipate uh, the land plots uh, being divided among uh, six residents, and the current focus is on developing the first phase. The phase is expected to be completed in the second half of uh, 2023. And uh, the project of the first phase consists of about uh, 15,000 uh, square meters of dry warehouse, uh, 19 loading docks and a power supply, about 630 kilowatts. Uh, this, this workhouse could be easily converted into manufacturing premises upon the, uh, the request. Uh, so we have some photos of the ongoing construction of the first phase that showcases the current status of the project. As you can see, um, the facade and roof has been completed, indicating that the construction has been uh, progressed to approximately uh, 50%. Uh, the industrial park, our industrial park, will have a dedicated service company that will provide comprehensive security services and technical services such as uh, uh, construction and repairs and will also handle um, the cleaning. So that's pretty much it and uh, thank you.